very, very <laughs> excited because there's quite a few different things that are happening. Number one, we have this people that's coming to install solar on our farm. We are going off grid today. Well, it won't all happen in one day, but the point is we will be going off grid as far as we can today and the rest we'll do tomorrow. So we'll go, we're going off grid, which is absolutely a blessing and exciting, and I'm so happy about that. So that's the first thing that's happening today. The next thing is I am doing my first fermentation today. I have never canned in my life. I've never fermented in my life. I've never done any of this stuff. I'm very excited to try it. Um, I'll take you along with that, and I'll also take you along with the process as it uh, progresses, as the fermentation happens. So that's the next thing. And then the last thing, but not the least thing, this is a new venture for us. We are getting goats. Only 10, because that's all the person has available at the moment. But it's a good number for us to start, to learn to do goat husbandry or something. So I'm excited about that as well. We'll see how that all happens um, as it progresses as well today. So it's a very exciting day and I'll take you along with it. We hope you enjoy it. Let's go. She knows when she sees the keys. It's buggy time. <laughs> what time is it, Lila? Is it buggy time? Oh, it's exciting. It's <laughs> oh, you're a silly dog. best friend looks like the workers hey oh, it's bite. what's there what's there are there strangers say hello jeffy okay so this is our solar panels they have arrived and the people are busy installing some of the equipment they need to get it on the roofs. They have decided the flat roof of our workers um, units are the best for the solar systems. So how are you feeling? No, I'm actually quite excited about going off the roof. Mm. We're going to put that pay as you go in. Um, you don't pay for the for the renting of the pole. You just pay that, that one sort of fee to go into pay as you go. And it's just there as a backup. So we're pretty much going to be off the grid. Unless we've got a lot of people or we've got a couple of cloudy days that we need to switch over. But other than that, we're going to be off the grid, which is great. I've got a strong suspicion we're not going to need that because of the solar heater we already have that works so well. But when we've got visitors and we've got aircons running and uh, we've got all the, the geezers, the heat pumps on, so do we it's still... It's really just only at night where you've got, to, you've got to save the power into the battery for at night. Yeah. For the day stuff, we can have more than enough power to run. Isn't it exciting? Very exciting. Because we decided to, to buy some, some goats, bought some feed for them, and then the lick that we're going to put out for the, the game, we can put it for the, for the goats as goats well. Goats as well. And for the Is that the same one? The same one, yeah. A few bags of pellets for them. Um, which should last us a while and then for the first time also I've also bought some malasa um, just to mix in when when Alex is back when we mix the feed yes just to put a little bit of that in just just mm. as a little kick at the Boosting end of winter now before system, the yeah. before the rains come okay cool <laughs> okay so I have some beautiful yellow beetroot that I harvested yesterday and I also have some radishes that I have harvested a few days ago. So I would like to ferment these two things and a bunch of sauerkraut I bought. Here I have my all my 
fermenting jars um, boiled. I have been told this is not rocket science, that it is actually very easy to do fermentation. So um, we don't have electricity at the moment, so it gives me an opportunity to quickly do this, although I hope the lighting is okay here. Um, yeah, so let's try this fermentation for the first time thing. I'm excited. I do have some Himalayan pink salt, so I'll use that. And then our well water is perfect apparently, so. Okay, I've been told to put salt as you like it on the veggies as you cut it up. I've cut this up last night and unfortunately I couldn't continue with the process. But um, I'm going to try and do it now and see what salt levels are like. I think that's fine because beetroot is sweet. I don't want it to be overly salty. <laughs> I'm eating more than I'm actually packing here. So I have cooled down some boiled water and I'm going to just fill up the jar with that. You need to fill it up to above the level of the f vegetables. You're supposed to add a fermenting lid. You buy these will take a lot. They are fitting perfectly in the white neck jars. Okay, here I have my freshly harvested onions, green onions. I'm going to add this to the radish mix just because that will give flavor and I think it will be interesting. I'm literally playing, you guys. I have no idea what I'm doing and if it will work out, but apparently there is no rocket science regarding this. So My radishes are also peeled. I'm going to chop them now. Goodness me, the electricity just went on. So these, to prevent oxidization, I'm putting beetroot leaves at the top here to keep your my ferment out of contact with air. That's a trick I've read somewhere. Putting together now with the spices that I've used. And there you have it, my... First fermentation, we have cabbage, purple cabbage with carrots and onions basically, radishes with a few beetroot pieces, beetroot times two. Yum yum. About five days I'll taste it and let you know how it is, and then in ten days and so on. So watch this space. <laughs> So this is where we're going to keep our goats. This was used before for goats and also for game capturing as well as breeding. So the whole, it's a nice big space and it's fully enclosed. It's for the roof and it's high um, walls. Big sliding door. We're going to put hay here for them to sleep on and that's sheltered. That's about it for, for this place. Put a sliding gate on both sides so you can get animals in on that side and then on, at the other gate they can go go out and I'll show you. So Peter's putting some feed out for them, a lick block for extra nutrients just to prevent them from getting stressed from this move. So this gate um, slides open as well and then you have a nice camp here that's enclosed you need to get and then we have water here and the panels at the back are for lambing when they have babies. Over on that side what you see those canvas panels are inside of four camps for mummies and babies with cribs and everything. So we're back here so these are the structures that the solar panels are going to rest on. This room is where all our battery systems are going to be. Systems. Progress. I'm out here at the, at the Boma where we're going to put the goats in, and Peter's on his way with the goats. I'm excited to see them and to watch him upload them. I suppose I'll have to help, but 
Oh, it's exciting. We're getting goats. Ten little goats. We're only getting used today. Oh, wow. Stop, stop. And look at this little madam. Lula? Lula. Take them by the walls. Yep. Look at you. Come on. Because we just need oh. one to go. Also, the light is not nice for them. Come on. Come on. Come. Come, Come mommy. Oh, gorgeous. Are you the clever girl? Come. She didn't carry them at one. Somebody is curious <laughs> about their new home. I think the light is also not very nice for them. Come on, mommy. Come. Come. Come on. It's, we can all name them. There's ten of them. Twelve. Twelve, okay. Come on. Come on, darlings. Come, come. Come. Come, 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 come. Come, 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 come. Come, 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 come. Go away now, so they can't see you. We're going to have to catch him, babe, so not going to come up. There we go. Inside, inside, go, go, go. Okay, it's just one more. We've done well. Come, 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 come. Come, lady, come. Come, lady, go. Come on. Come, 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 come. come. Yes, yeah, see, it's not so difficult. Lower, 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 all the ladies. Hey? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go and see if we can see closer. I don't know. Wow. There you go. Oh my goodness, guys. Let's climb inside the food bowl. <laughs> hey. Oh my lordy day. That was slipping. You're going to hurt your sock. You can already see who the naughty ones are. What have we done, babes? <laughs> They're so cute. This one is a is the is the big one, the brown. leader, yeah, with the dark brown hair. Look, she's the one jumping inside as well. Look at this; it's so weird. When one walks that way, they all go that way. There's our first bird of bird walker. Yay, as the sun goes down. High five, babes. We 
You're a book farmer now. A goat farmer. Oh yes. There are goats. Okay, so good night goaties.